everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb, and I'm going to talk to you about the Magento 2 reCAPTCHA functionality. So uh, what is reCAPTCHA? Uh, so reCAPTCHA is a, currently this box right here, which helps protect uh, logins, forms, and just uh, user submissions uh, from robots, right? So it's trying to detect if you're a human or a robot, and it's trying to kind of um, help with uh, security and help with attacks, especially guessing passwords. Uh, things like that. So, um, reCAPTCHA is a service product uh, by Google and it helps you protect it. So, Magento 2 has this feature built in as of August 2018. So, you can install it and then set it up and you can configure it. So, you have settings that you can configure the reCAPTCHA for the login for the admin backend and you can also have settings for the front end, which we'll showcase. Um, so let me log in right now and I'll show you how to set it up and how to work with it. Okay, so I'm going to click here. Okay, so now I've verified I'm not a robot so I can sign in. Okay, great. So uh, first thing you need to do actually is have your Magento 2 and uh, currently it for August 2018 you have to actually install this it doesn't come with the default Magento 2 so what you're gonna to have to do and I'll include this in the video description is you're gonna actually have to install it so you need a developer to install it really simple you can use the composer just add another line in your composer run it uh, refresh everything and then you'll have it once you do that um, you're going to log into the back end and you're going to go to store configuration you're, and you're ne going to need to turn it on. So once you install this, once you follow these, your developer follows this, you will be able to see a new section here in store configuration called security. And security will have the two-factor authentication, which is another video we'll do shortly, and the Google reCAPTCHA. Okay? So uh, Google reCAPTCHA. So first thing you need to do is you need to actually go to the Google reCAPTCHA website to get your authentication API keys and your secret keys. Um, so what you're going to do is go to google.com slash reCAPTCHA. I'll also put that uh, inside the video description. And you're going to set up a new one, right? You're going to register a new site and you're going to put the, the name you want. So for example, you know, my site. And you're going to select which type of reCAPTCHA. So I like the invisible one uh, because it's uh, just uh, it's just better, right? So this is how the invisible one works, right? You don't have to click on anything just like I showed you before. So I can click here and you put in your domain name. So for example, we'd put, you know, mysite.com, etc. And accept. And once you do that, you're going to go to a page just like this and you're going to be able to see all of your keys, etc. right? So, excuse me, right here. So obviously you don't want to share your keys and your secret keys with anybody but I'm going to delete this after the video, so it's okay for that. So you're going to take the site key, you're going to copy this whole thing, and you're going to paste it in here, key, and then the secret is this one on the right. So you only need to copy these two and c continue with the configuration. So once you do that, you have to specify settings for the back end and the front end. <coughs> Excuse me. So backend, do you want to enable it? So backend basically refers to the admin login, which you saw before that I obviously had it enabled, which I showed you how to log in. Um, so, and then light theme and dark theme, these are just different colors of the reCAPTCHA. So this is a lighter theme and there's a darker theme, right? So depending on what you want to fit. And then normal and compact, these are just a, um, just small different different sizes. So the normal one, which you saw prior, which I logged in in the back end when I started the video, is the normal. The compact one is slightly smaller in width, just a little bit smaller. Okay, and then here you have settings for the front end. Do you want to protect the front end as well? Yes or no? If you do yes, you can select the regular CAPTCHA, which is similar to what you saw in the beginning of the video, or the invisible one, which is just like this, which is probably better, so I'd definitely recommend. And if you do the, re the uh, reCAPTCHA, you have less settings, but if you do the invisible one, you can specify how you want it to be. So on the bottom right, for example, would look just like this on the bottom right, bottom left would look here, and the inline would be right below your form, okay? So let's do an example, for example, let's do um, inline, and I'm going to save it, and I'll get back to that in a second. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go here and I click, and this is a front end which I've enabled. Okay, so right here, so you can see it's inline. If I click it on the left, for example, right here, bottom left, and I save it, I'm gonna let it save, and I refresh, you'll see it's just a hover on the bottom left, right? So you can kind of choose your own. It's really more popular to show a hover, but it's up to you uh, for your design of your site. Okay, um, so let's look at some other settings. Okay, so if you have website and store views in different languages, you can click on the link right here and you can actually uh, specify the actual, you know, hover, the information that's here. And if there's a pop up that asks you, asks you to select more information, you'll be able to have those in different languages. So you can see, you can click on that link. And for example, if you want Hebrew, you would take IW go here, put it in here, IW, save it, okay? Um, and then the last features, settings are use and login, so when some, a customer logs in, right? So if you go here to sign in, then do you wanna put a captcha, a recaptcha here? That's login, you have one for create an account, forgot password, create an account, and in the contact, if you use the contact form default of Magento, you have these. Uh, that's basically it for settings. Really, really simple. Uh, very nice one. Really recommend for, for some things. For back end, probably a good idea to have anyways. For front end, you need to consider. But, you know, with, with the different, you know, spam and form spam and registration spam and, you know, hackers, etc. It's just good to have it. But that's up to your business decision. So, uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. We'll be making some more shortly. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.